Hello crafty friends, I'm Lean from Studio Kato and I'm so happy to be back on the Alex Siberia Designs YouTube channel today with this one layer card. I don't make a lot of one layer cards because I love my dimension, but I recently realized that I'm running out of storage space because, for my finished cards I mean, because I use so much dimension on each card. So I challenged myself to make a one layer card today with this uh, create your own happy stamp and die set and I really really love this set. It makes card making so easy and you'll see what I mean uh, with this technique. Now I wanted to do a bouquet but obviously I'll need some masking for that and I'm taking the easy way out here. I am using the coordinating dice to create some masks. I don't have masking paper. Don't ask me why. Um, I've been card making for so long. I should really have some masking paper. But I make do with full stick post-it notes. And I die cut the flowers and the foliage from this die from this stem set. I used the coordinating dice. I die cut all of the images and also one sentiment die as well. I love that Alex Siberia Designs includes uh, coordinating dies for their stamped sentiments. That makes card making also very easy. <laughs> and for this one, it's perfect because I can mask off the place where my sentiment needs to go. Obviously, you could stamp it and emboss it over the flowers. That is also possible for a one layer card, but I really like the look of a shadow layer behind it. Now all of these stamps are full stamps. You don't have to do any coloring. You obviously can add some uh, detail with some extra coloring over these. That would be really fun to create some depth. But I'm going to give this a watercolor look by inking it up and then spraying it from quite far away with just some clean water. And that is going to get the ink flowing really nicely. Now over this masking paper <laughs> or this post-it note, I am able to stamp with this very wet ink. It's not going to creep underneath the mask. It's not going to soak through the mask. Test your masking paper before you start this project though. As you can see, I also masked off two corners. This is a partial frame. Um, it's going to become a little bit clearer once I'm done with this card. but. Masking off a frame is also a great way to add depth and dimension to a one layer card. Especially a partial frame. <laughs> if I do say so myself, this was a stroke of genius. I rarely am so pleased with an idea at the end of a card. Uh, I've never done this before. I just thought it would be fun and it worked, worked out really, really well. Now here you can really see that watercolor effect and I was quite nervous that it did soak through the post-it notes. Uh, that's what you see me checking there, but it didn't, so I was very happy. And I do heat set it pretty much immediately after I've stamped it. This is also going to prevent it soaking through the mask if it has a tendency to do that. This will help stop it before it does. and. It also sets all those really fun textures in place. Watercolor flows freely when it's still wet and it evens out. I don't want that. I don't want it to even out. I want some droplets in there if there are some. So I do heat set um, the pieces that are quite wet to preserve that texture. I am doing the same with the leaves. This is really, really easy. It's the same process over and over again. But it's a really fun way to build a bouquet and it's really fun that I don't have to glue anything down. I This is really just stamping. I love cards that are just stamping. I don't do them enough. Um, it's back to basics, but it's a really fun way to do it. Now for this rounder sprig of leaves, I am using blues. I love blues for leaves. It um, it just adds a little something to a bouquet or a floral card. I just really like to bring in some blue there. I usually go for quite a teal blue, but this one I did add quite a dark navy to it as well. Now you do have to be aware that all the colors you use for inks, if you spray a little bit of water on your stamps, you don't have to for this technique, but if you do, um, the colors are going to come out a little bit paler than you're used to for that ink. 
in some spots if you have a big droplet on your stamp it's going to come out very very pale i love that watercolor look you might not so don't spray your stamps then if you don't love the watercolor look um i do create for the leaves i have created two stamps two masks for each image i didn't need it in the end but once you have the masks, you can use them over and over again until they lose their stick. But you don't need that much stick either. So uh, yeah, you can use these for plenty of cards. I only made one today. I only had time for one. But once you have the masks, this is quite an easy card to make over and over again. Now the stamping is almost done and once I'm done with that I can peel off all the masks except for the sentiment and um, I use that mask to guide where my stamp should be. It's a lot easier to see with the mask still in place and once I have picked up that sentiment stamp with my Misty I can stamp it with Versafine Onyx Black Ink onto this watercolor cardstock. I forgot to mention that actually. If you do that watercolor look in uh, stamping with the with spraying the water on your stamp before you stamp it, you do want to use watercolor cardstock. Anything wet, you want watercolor cardstock for it. Otherwise, it's going to ruin your card. You don't want that. I heat emboss this with clear gloss super fine embossing powder by Wow. And once that's heat set, I am going to finish this card off with a frame. I, again, usually would die cut one, add some dimension to it, but this time I mapped it out with a ruler and a pencil, and then I am freehanding this, well, as far as you can call tracing a line freehanding. I am just painting over this with some gold watercolor paint. I put this a little bit away from where the mask was so there is a little bit of white space um, but everywhere where the leaves have crossed over the mask and where they go outside of this frame I am uh, not painting over those leaves I am <laughs> leaving the frame open so the leaves seem to overlap the frame which also adds a little bit of depth to the design which is a really easy way to add depth to, des to the design. Have some elements overlap your frame. Uh, the sentiment overlaps the frame as well. And there I had a little mistake on that flower there where it went over the mask and I didn't like it. So I added a little bit of paint there as well. And I added some dots of gold paint just over a couple of the flowers. I didn't want to do splatter. <laughs> I didn't want to ruin this card. Um, but yeah, just a couple of dots of gold paint are my embellishments here. You could also just add pearls or whatever. I really love how this card turned out. I don't make one layer cards quite often. Um, yeah, I, they're just not really my thing. I love playing with dimension, but this was really fun to do and a little bit outside of my comfort zone. I hope you like it. I hope you like the card in the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to read them. You can also subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of uh, Alex Siberia Designs inspiration or subscribe to my channel. It should be linked on the video description now to see more of my stuff as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.